the Utah Jazz have waived Xavier Sneed after last season in the NBA. He only was able to play for nine games. So, in the nine games, he spent two of them with the Memphis Grizzlies, and he spent the other seven with the Utah Jazz. So, he's a 6'5 small forward, so very undersized. He is 24, going to be 25. 25 pretty early on this NBA season. He averaged half a point, one rebound, and that's it. Shot 50% from from two and had a field goal percentage of 20% with a 12.5% from three. So if we look at his G League numbers, those will help us out a lot more because they'll tell us a lot more about how he actually is as a player. Uh, he averaged 15 points, six rebounds, 2.7 assists, half a block, and one and a half steals per game for the Salt Lake City Stars and the Greensboro Swarm. So he played for both those teams. And in 2021, for the Swarm, he averaged eight points per game to go along with four rebounds, two assists, two steals, and half a block. So his numbers from his rookie year in the G League to his second year in the G League went so much better. He played very, very, very well in his second year in the G League. So definitely a good improvement for him. Um, I, I think that the Jazz were probably right to waive him. He was on an Exhibit 10, I believe. So with them waving him, that was probably the best call. Um, because he was he signed a two, a two way contract with the Jazz last season in February, and never played a game for him. And then this past year was, or well, he did play he did play a game with them. Excuse me, he played seven. But then this year, I guess the two way contract was still going, and they decided to waive him. So I think it was probably the best decision. They could probably find someone a little bit better. That's not a six five small forward that can't really shoot the basketball um, because that's undersized small forward as it is but that's my thoughts on it let me know you guys is in the comment section below don't forget to leave a like subscribe and turn notification bells to all see you guys all later in the next video video let's try to hit 10k subs peace